I'm Josh Capon, and this is Grilling Tips with ShopRite. Before you put anything on the grill, you always season your proteins, and I mean aggressively, with black pepper out of a pepper mill. We have a couple beautiful New York strip steaks here and some gorgeous patties from Pat Lafreda. We are going to season those with kosher salt. And when I say season, I mean let it snow, everybody. You want to see the salt, you want to see the pepper, and you always season both sides of your proteins. While our steaks are cooking, why not start with some beautiful burgers? Most importantly, don't play with your meat while it's on the grill. You're gonna get yourself into trouble. Let them cook, let them sear, let them caramelize, and those steaks and burgers will literally detach themselves from the grill all by themselves. A little bit of fire is okay. A lot of fire, no good. So once they start to flare up, what I want you to do it's just move them to another part of the grill. And at the same time, we're doing the old quarter turn, right? The quarter turn is gonna give you some nice hatch marks. Keeping an eye on those steaks, once again, a little bit of fire. Now it's time to give them a turn and look at that golden crust, that absolute gorgeous caramelization. If you have enough real estate on your grill, lower the temperature in one area so you have an area for steaks and meats to rest so they don't cook too fast. You flip your burger once, maybe twice. Any more than that, I'm gonna come in your backyard and smack you in the face with your spatula. As your burger, steaks, chicken, hot dogs start to finish, don't be afraid to utilize that top rack. That's why it's there. Let your meats finish resting and you don't have to worry about them flaming up. Always have your bowl and basket buns ready. For me, it's summertime. You need a big, thick slice of tomato on that burger, just like so. That, my friends, is a beautiful, juicy cheeseburger off the grill, compliments of ShopRite. When it comes to cooking fish on the grill, don't be scared. Use your grill as an oven, and that's exactly what we're gonna do with these beautiful halibut and salmon fillets. What do we do first? We just season them with a little red onion, some capers, some olives, tomatoes, a little bit of olive oil. When I say a little bit of olive oil, I really mean a lot of olive oil, because that's the good stuff. A nice splash of white wine. As this fish cooks, this is gonna make a great sauce that you're gonna be able to enjoy the fish with. Always season our proteins with some kosher salt and some nice cracked black pepper out of a pepper mill. And then whatever kind of herbs you like. I got some beautiful basil from the garden. So we're just gonna chop up some basil, a nice rough chop, sprinkle it over the fish. And we're gonna pop these right into the grill. About seven minutes later, check out the magic. First of all, smells incredible. Your whole backyard should be smelling of white wine and fresh fish and olives. It creates its own sauce which is part of the magic and the simplicity of this dish. We're gonna take these beautiful fish fillets out. Be careful, fish is still very delicate. Most importantly, just like any protein, it firms up when it cooks, and that's how you know it's done, similar to a steak or even a burger. We're gonna take these lovely sauces. We're gonna finish this with a nice squeeze of fresh lemon, beautiful fresh citrus. Look at that gravy, and look at that. Beautiful poked salmon and halibut with olives, cherry tomatoes, lemon and basil with a splash of white wine. Perfect for your backyard summertime grill. 